Jesus name. As we want to go to this little message, not little but big in our heart. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will plant your word in our heart in Jesus name. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Peter was chosen. You will choose us in Jesus' name. And your name is going to be glorified. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. This morning, I had no intention of talking to us. And then, but as I was talking, coming inside the car, it's like I was meditating and then god just revealed everything one thing to me that is i never thought of i've always telling us whenever you are in gathering or you are in a church like this or you come to a meeting one thing that need to be praying for is almighty god how are you going to use me more than how you have been using other people. God, what do you want to use my life for? How am going? How am I going to be so spe- spectacular to the extent that when the story is being written, I will never be forgotten not because of the story being written only but by the time you get to the kingdom of god what will be my own star is is star going to be in my crown then what report do i want to give to all mighty god I've always been telling us it shouldn't be surprising us that when Jesus Christ was even given talent, I mean, or when that man was given talent, I mean, giving talent to the three servants, I doubt it. Uh, maybe I've not read my Bible, maybe I've not done my research up to that, that the servant may be more than three. And he chose three out of them. Then, what was the qualification? He saw among those three to choose them to for him to able to decide that among all my servants I'm going to choose these three servants then I want us to do a good uh, a simple mathematics He gave the first servant how many talents? Five. What about the second one? Three. What about the last one? One. Okay. Five plus three is eight. Plus one is nine. Three divided by nine is what? Is what? Is three. I want us to look at what I'm saying. Why? did he decide to give the one he gave five talents five the, the other one was two okay so five plus two seven plus one eight okay so the question is why did he decide to give the person he gave five five talents why what was the attribute what was the qualification what was the input what was the character that 
Esau in that particular person to give him five. Why can't he just say, okay, I have eight talents that I want to give out. Why can't I give three, three, two, so that it will not be a slave and partial? Then what was it? What was Yes. What? Okay, let me finish. What did he see to give the other one one? So when you look at this, when you are reading your Bible and you are looking at this kind of thing, maybe you are you are looking at yourself. You do your personal research. You, you do you do your pat- uh, personal meditation. I mean, meditation, and you are thinking. Why can this man do this? One area we may look at it is this from the general interpretation that God does not bother no how many kind of the talent you have as far as you use it and you are productive. The same reward that is given to the five person is the one is going to give the person that that, that gave to the two. Uh, the, the, to the two, uh, to the same person he gave to the two two uh, two talents, and every one of us we saw it that when all of them, especially the two, they have done their own work and they it was it needed double talent. The what he told them is that he di- he did not say you that have five talents, go to this place. And you that have two, two talents, go to the lesser one. He didn't say that. He put two of them. He said, well, I mean, he, 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 he appreciate them for what they have done. And give them their reward. The same reward. The only thing he condemned the, the one with one talent for. Is because he buried the talent. He... He did not use it. But my own personal medication this morning is this. Why? What? Who knows? What was going on within that man to decide that I'm going to choose you and I will give you five talents and I will choose you, I will give you two talents and I will give the other one one talent. What was going on? Mm-hmm. There must be, there must have been something he is looking at. Who knows? Maybe he has given them one assignment or before. And he saw the way they behave. He saw that the one that is going to be given five talents, always careful, hard work thing committed and he knows that but if i give him five talents automatically he's going to use the five talents to get another five talents he might have looked at the one he gave one talent that i know him he doesn't care if, if possible i wouldn't have given him this one talent. but let me see try him again maybe it's going to change Who knows what was going through him? And then I can show you a physical example. Among us, among we human beings, no matter the age, no matter the color, no matter the name, no matter whatever we may look at, whenever we see that somebody is responsible, we give him more assignment than the one we see that is lesser responsible. Less responsible. I know you agree with me. If you have a two kid, 
Recently, I was speaking to one, one of my friends. They love their children too much. I mean, when I mean too much, they love their children. But the junior one, whenever he's talking, all what he always talk is, Daddy, I want to go and buy a book. I want to go to Walmart. We want, but the senior one, whenever they are talking, all what you always talk is, I want to go and buy a game. They are of the same father, the same mother. You can't tell me a mother, a father does not like his children. Or he loves one, one, one children more than the other. But what made the other one be attractive? Because they know all what he always say is that I want to go and buy book, I want to do this in Walmart, I want to do where the other one we always say they are the same father, the same one. they are watching them. But my dear brother, my dear sister, by the time they get to the woman, they bought the book, the one they all the junior one. By the time they before they leave the car, he will tell them and finish the book. Then the father will be telling him, Why did you even let us buy it? Well, you know that you why can't you just stay and the woman and finish it and then we return the book but it was so attractive to them to the to the they know it's sabi to the extent that in this abami country the boy won this uh, what do we call it the the quiz beast this many bees my question is what makes him attractive to them, to the extent that they believe that buying book is the most important to him than the other one that they are going to be buying game. That one does not mean the one they are buying game for is not going to succeed. Everybody has his own talents. My question is this, what makes you attractive to Almighty God? To choose you as the head of your department, as the head of the church, as the head of organization in the church, to the extent that God desires that He's going to use you. And if God is not ready to give you as much talent as He has given to others, why? Is it because he knows that your commitment is going to be lesser? Does he know that if I commit this kind of the talent to this particular person, I know him. As a result of this, as a result of this, this talent will be useless and it's not going to be useful. I've read, I've listened to one of our, our father in the Lord's message. And he was saying, God, I want you to give me power of, of Elijah. To the extent that when I'm, when I'm preaching, people will see the power of the Lord in me. I want you to give me the power of um, Elijah. To the extent that I will be able to raise the dead. It's a woman being like you. It's a woman being like me. The question is, what does God see in him? To give us a, 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 a limited gift, a limited talent, to do not go beyond Charlotte Fee. Yes, we are productive. But as we are striving physically, are we striving physically? I mean, spiritually. When you have a counselor and you go to your counselor, that my counselor, this course is course I want to do. This course is what course I want to do. And as a result of this, as a result of this, it, that is a physical man. That physical man will be advising you. Know, I've been studying you. You can do more than this. And he will look at all the 
all around to see whatever he can use to support you so that your dream can be higher. Automatically, if you go to God and God see the attribute to bestow on you more talent than the talent you have now, with all humility, with all humility, with all respect, He's ready to, 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 to give it to you. But if for you, you know, I, I know. What we call the webs that is disturbing all that does not let us move forward. That is ejecting all that does not let us move. That is putting a bus stop, that is putting a limitation, that is putting no go ahead. You can't go beyond this. That is putting it on us and we are not going beyond. We are striving. Academically. To achieve the highest. We are striving. Physically, many of us, we go to exercise room. We go to a lot of places in order to be. I was watching one of our musician, Christian musicians yesterday. And he was thinking about energy. I saw him. The way he went to this all this gym and he was doing exercise he was striving and when you are talking about many many things that is selling fast in this country now is exercise industry people are striving to maintain their body we are striving to have more weight to the extent that including somebody like me, I will tell you that by the time we are going out, <coughs> it is this kind of car, it is this kind of car I love. To have. But when come to the spiritual level that, okay, I'm just adding a church in Charlotte that is not, that is this their number. How many times have I tried? Let's say maybe we are just discussing, but with the sincerity of mine, the way I'm striving to, I mean, to, uh, to build my family, the way I'm striving to build my life, the way I'm striving to have good name, whatever you may say, whatever, whatever you may say, the way I'm striving to have them, how many times I'm striving to have spiritual gift of them. To the extent that I will go to my God as a counselor and tell him, Almighty God, I know you have done this, I know you have done this, but I know I can go higher. I can become a word preacher. You can give me a church in Chalofi that is bigger than this. You can help me to build a church that is going to be winning soul. And in all my people that surround me, and they will come to the house of the Lord. How many, how many times have we desired to do, to do that? But we know all those things that have been a stubborn block. You know it. I don't need to tell you. Many of us, how am I going to take care of my husband? Good. Because if the family is destroyed, the church of the Lord cannot be built. Fine. Many of us, how am I going to take care of my wife? Because if you are not taking care of your wife, how do you want to pray to the other? Many of us, how, how come, am I going to become this? I have this and be this. Good. Because if you don't have it, like somebody, they will say, what's your purpose of being in America? Many of us, how can we go to have a peace? Because if you don't have that peace, they will tell you, where are you going to the church? But 
are those things are they enough to block your growth spiritually but i know but the power and the blood of jesus christ is not it has not gone And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus today message will revive you, will revive me in Jesus' name. And we are going to see each other in the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing Peter was. And they all of them twelve. They were there. And they were with they were, they were with Jesus. Let's open our book, the book of Luke. The book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 18. Book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 18. And it came to pass as he was alone praying. His disciples were with him and he asked them, saying, Who say the people that I am? Then Almighty God come unto you this morning. He comes to me this morning. The my dear son, my dear daughter. Who do you think I am? What are you limiting me? Why can't you so just surrender yourself totally? All things of the world. All things of the family. All things Oh, this is what I want to become. This is what I want to be become. Do you think I cannot take care of them? Do you think I cannot provide for you enough? To the extent that you carry all, all these things, you carry them on, the, on your head. And you take my ministry in your hand. Jesus Christ is asking you this morning what is your limitation that does not let your ministry expand does not let your ministry go beyond and then his disciples were with him and he asked them saying who said the people that I am the answer said John the Baptist. That's many of us. That's the way we think. I know this God. He will not give you more than your ability. It is whatever you can do, God will give unto you. I know Him. As far as He is very sure that he, he, that is going to make you to the kingdom of God. That's how many of us, many of us are thinking. I know him. I know there's many things God can do that He will not do. I know him. But already within yourself, you have judged, you have decided that He cannot do it. Then Jesus Christ was asking, and that's what. But and, but, and they were saying. Don't say Elijah. I know him. Is it not God? He has done it during the past. And I remember this person I know. When he was praying, 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 God did not go beyond this. He doesn't go beyond that. I know him. And if God cannot use that particular person in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a large community, Automatically, he may not be able to use me too. You think in that way. Things 
of the past. Many of us and others say that one of the old prophets that is rising. Many of us are thinking that this is the God I know. All what people say is that when I come to him, my life is going to be better and my life is getting better. But can the life, can that life improve more than this? It can. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. And nothing that interpret message. God will give to every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. How little we see our God, and how big are we seeing our God? The, I mean, he said unto him, "Then, but whom say you that I am?" But the question now comes to particular lay unto you this morning: that how are you saying? Your God, Jesus Christ. What can He do? What He cannot do? Is it limited, or is it anything that is your own life that let Him be limited, and you don't want it to go? But somebody was chosen on this day, and I know it is you. It is me in Jesus' name. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, today is today. A new dimension of anointing is falling on every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. And the way we have been seeing Jesus before is changed because all other disciples, the way they have been seeing Jesus Christ is a past prophet. The way they are missing Jesus Christ is somebody that is limited. The way they are missing Jesus Christ is somebody that he won't go beyond, no matter what the case may be. But look at what Peter said. Peter answered answer say, the Christ of God. And that's me, anointed or more perfectly the one that made Messiah. That's the reason why we call upon the name of the Lord this morning. When we are mean a Messiah, we mean deliverer. When we mean Messiah, we mean God that is ready to set off free. When we mean Messiah, we mean somebody that ready to go, that ready to remove limitation. When we mean Messiah, we mean God that ready to set us in a new path. Because from the pro, um, from the confession of Peter, a new thing happened to the all other disciples. And as we are seen today by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, a new thing is happening to us in Jesus' name. Let us rise or call upon the name of the Lord. What is your own limitation? What is that thing that is cover you like other disciples? All other disciples are there. They were there. They never know all what they are seeing in Jesus Christ is a past Elijah. Is a is a past Elijah. It was a past prophet. But when when Simon, when Simon answered, he said, "Yes, I know you. You are Christ." Do you, and do you know what Jesus Christ told him? On you, I will build my church, and the gate of the air will not prevail. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father. I know that you are more than what I'm th you're thinking. I know you are greater than what I've been thinking. I, I would have thought. 
And as Peter discover you, Father, I discover you today. All veil. All way block. All hindrances. All sabotage. All things. That does not let me grow. Spiritually. That is limiting me. That is pulling me down. Father, I call upon your name. Let them be removed today in Jesus' name. All other, other disciples fail cover them. They couldn't see that this is Jesus Christ. But Simon was able to get up and say, You are Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Father, from this evening, from this morning, let me see you in a new dimension. Expand, the, expand, my, expand my ministry. I send of you praying for the settlement of the family alone. Family is good. But do not forget what the Bible says. Seek you first the kingdom of God. And all other things shall be added. Let's say you have let all the all the work of flesh, let it go. And all your attributes, all, all your habits, all what you are seeing is the attribute of God. Let's say in all my habits, in all my saying, it is attribute of God. The way God established Peter, that's the way God that will have established you. Call upon the name of the Lord. What are those things that do not let me grow? Father, this money, take them away from my life. Use me, O oh Lord, mightfully. The way you use Peter to the extent. The shadow of Peter was going. And his shadow was in me. The sick. Call upon the name of the Lord. I made the confession today. You are greater than the wo- what I am thinking. You are bigger than how I am looking at it. You are greater than the way I am thinking you are great. Father, in a new dimension, I surrender all. Use me. Let your anointing fall upon me. Let your grace fall upon me. When I'm talking about those people who are given talent, do not forget that that person that was given one talent was even the one that did not perform. What about people have to be given five talents? Will he not perform? That's what during my meditation God was giving to um, was giving to me. Maybe the master must have even seen him as a lazy man. That if I've given him five talent, he will just go and bury it. Let me try him again with this one talent. And that's what God was looking at you. That if I know him. If I give him more talent than this, he will not make use of it. After all, he's limiting himself to what I've given to him. Call upon the name of the Lord. All hindrances, all webs, all things of the world. I can be, the church is very minimal. I can be mentioning it. But I've been an hindrance to your ministry. I've been an hindrance to my ministry. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, remove them today. When I'm sleeping, all what I'm going to be thinking is about the Bible.
what I'm going to be thinking is about the growth of the word of the Lord. Or what I'm going to be thinking is about the development of the word of the Lord. Call upon him. Call upon him. He will do it. He can do it. He's able to do it. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, God, for how you have spoken to us. Father, I pray. The interpret interpretation of the word. You will let it you will let it eat food in our life in Jesus' name. And as for as Peter was productive to the extent that when he wanted when he wa- when he was about to be killed. He wanted to be he wanted to be nailed to the cross like you. That's how far he was discovered. But out of his humility, he said, No, Almighty God. Instead of naming me like Jesus Christ, let me be upside down. Father, I pray. Those attributes that does not attract you in our life i pray by the power and the blood of jesus you take it away in jesus name and the new thing in our life that we let you let us be attractive to you to the extent that the talent you are giving to us more of it you will give to us in jesus name and ability to use them to multiply them you will give to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.